Okay, this is um, an overview and uh, kind of a review of the Ruling Stainless Steel Handheld Bidet Toilet Sprayer from Home Depot. Um, this is what it looks like. It's a very nice color. It's very easy and nice to hold. It has this push button here. This is the uh, attachment to the top part. It kind of makes an L shape. It sits pretty nicely in here. You can see I'll just kind of wiggle it in there. It's pretty firm. I have no problems with it coming out. It doesn't feel loose at all. Um, it's pretty easy to install. You just set this up here and then down here. Um, your typical installation of any, any bidet or toilet sprayer goes down here. Um, this is the on-off valve. It's an easy slide like this. Um, according to the directions, if you're not using it, always keep it in the off position. Don't just leave it on. Um, I think it said so it doesn't wear out the parts. So I just turned it on. I'm going to pick up the bidet and I'm going to spray it by pushing this and pushing it to turn it off. And then if you turn this nozzle here, a click to the right, it changes the setting. Also, if you adjust a few drips at the end, hang this back up. Sorry for the one-handed review. Um, if you adjust the flow down here, like the water pressure, I can turn it down just a touch so that when I do use the bidet, it's much smaller, although right now it doesn't look that small. Let's see if I can adjust it. Let's see if I can do it so you can see it. Okay. I'm going to turn this over here a little bit less. I can change the water pressure like that. Make it really high and make it low. And then this, I just turn this. You can feel a slight, you can't hear a click, but you can feel a slight like click into place. A very small, subtle click into place. Um, one thing to note that otherwise, it works perfectly, but one thing to note that um, upon first installation, this um, button here was loose to the left. It wasn't wasn't tight. I'm not going to do it all the way. And because it was loose, um, the button wouldn't turn on or off. It would just constantly be on. <laughs> it just wouldn't work at all. And it took a few days for us to realize, oh, we have to turn this and screw it in. Uh, and after we did that, uh, it worked perfectly and the button worked every time. So once again, I will turn it on here. And then adjust this if I want to. Push the button to turn it off. Let the last few drips go. Hang it up here. Kind of wiggle it into place and that's it. And because our toilet's next to our shower, just in case, we like to keep it up there. And then always turn off the water at the end. Very easy to install, very easy to use, and not bad looking at all for a bidet.